And the second way that I nearly blew the grill to kingdom come was using the solid fuel insert. And this is way back in the day when I first got it. And I didn't really know how to use it because back then, uh, Alfresca was not including a, a how-to to use the product. If you get the Alfresco manual, they do tell you how to use the steamer fryer. They do tell you how to use the, uh, the, ro uh, the indirect roasting pod, but there is nothing on the solid fuel insert. I was one of the pioneers with it, I guess, and I got a few arrows in my back, and this is what I'm gonna tell about right here. So anyway, we get the solid fuel insert. I didn't know that you weren't supposed to load it up with charcoal, so I put a healthy dose of the Kamado Joe lump charcoal, and the Kamado Joe charcoal is hot as shit. Okay, it's, it, it is, they call it the big block charcoal. It basically looks like big chunks of tree that have been carbonized, all right? And I loaded the whole thing up with it. Um, not to the brim, it was probably halfway. It was pretty significant. There was a lot of coal in there, lit it up, and um, I don't think I even went inside. We had ignition in about seven, eight minutes, and really quickly, things again started to go sideways, and I was getting some serious, serious flamage coming out of there and once again boom it's flying out of the back of the grill on the canopy so in this instance i don't even have gas to shut off right because the solid fuel insert i'm not using gas anymore i just ignite it with the gas and then i turn it off now i'm just rocking and rolling with just cooking with wood well in this case so there was no gas to turn off i'm just saying to myself how do i get this thing to calm down so i did you know I took a lesson from my smokers. I'm like, how do we choke off, um, choke off fire? Well, we deprive it of oxygen. So I put the hood down and I waited for it to subside. It took a while, uh, pulled the grill further away from the fence. I did choke it off after some time. It started to diminish. I think I sprayed it down with some water also. But again, it's a scary situation. When you see, I'm not talking like this black smoke coming out and there's a little bit of uh, like a flare up going on. I'm talking there were serious flames running out of the back. And it's definitely not a situation you want to find yourself in. Um, so that's the other thing. Solid fuel insert, don't load it up. And any customer that has come in this showroom for the past year and all my sales folks tell them the same damn thing, do not load the box with coal or wood it will just you'll just be dealing with a serious amount of flame that's just not necessary all right i put a light layer of charcoal on the bottom and i'll probably throw in a chunk of wood as well just for some flavor not as a heat source and i am good to go that thing rock and rolls over 1000 degrees i've measured it with my gun no problems no reason a lot to load that thing up okay. anyway that is it. It was a little different tonight because I wasn't talking about IR burners and smoke tissing and features and functions and this and that. It was really more about learning from my mistakes, the arrows that the pioneer has had shot in his back. I want you to learn from them, okay? So that's it. Any questions, please hit me up here, jonathanacurtis.com. Call us. And as you know, Alfresco, pretty much any of these other grill brands, DCS links, etc., etc. We will ship nationwide, free shipping, 100%, okay? And uh, no sales tax where that is applicable. So just, uh, we are the grill experts. You are the outdoor kitchen savants. Check it out. Thank you very much.